Was that something that was common in your family to sing together before you even went to school? Mostly just uh, for mom. Um, she was always singing and she has a beautiful soprano voice. Um, and so, yeah, we, we were always, there was always music either being played or being sung around the house. Oh, that's super sweet. I grew up with that too. And it's so, it's so wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then you got into school. Well, I mean, like most kids, you went to school. I guess not got into school like a college or something. But you went to school and you really got into music. Was it in middle school? You yeah, I mean, it? really going back as far as elementary school, oh. um, I had a music teacher named Miss Dehart, who I'm still close to. And um, she always had me sing a solo in whatever the little, you know, music productions elementary school kids do. Mm -hmm. um, and I never questioned it. It just felt like an assignment. It was like, you do this, you do this, Tim, you sing this <laughs> song here. And I was like, okay. Um, so honestly, as long as I can remember, I've been comfortable on stage. And I really oh. owe a debt of gratitude to Miss Dehart for making it so. Thank you, Miss Dehart. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that was all the way through elementary school. And then once I got into middle school, I uh, started learning, you know, solfege and sight reading and all that. And mm -hmm. some of the more um, fundamentals of singing, um, as well as, you know, sort of the, the classical side of it, I guess you would say, mm -hmm. a little bit more uh, formal training. Mm -hmm. um, starting in seventh grade, I started competing in uh, all region and those sorts of things in the choir. Um, and along with that, once you make it to all region, uh, the school district pays for a voice teacher for you. Oh, so basically that's nice. I had a voice teacher from seventh grade all the way through high school. Hello friends, this is T again with another reaction video. And today we're doing a video by request from VJ9014. And she requested for Home Free Undivided. Now already it looks like it's gonna be a pretty interesting video. So I'm really looking forward to it. So let's go ahead and immediately get into this, okay? All right, but before we do, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we come out with new videos, okay? All right, yeah. Let's get with this. on at school for things he couldn't change he tried his best to play it cool but in the seventh grade you either fit right in or you don't fit that's just the cold hard truth well i wish that i'd been the friend that billy never knew i think it's time to come together you and i could make a change maybe we could make a difference make the world a better place Look around and love somebody We've been hateful all enough Let the good Lord reunite us Till this country that we love's undivided. undivided You either go to church or you're gonna go to hell Get a job and work or you're gonna go to jail I just kinda wish we didn't think like that Why's it gotta be all white or all black? When we gonna learn to try on someone's shoes sometimes? Start to see from someone else's eyes I think it's time to come together You and I can make a change Maybe we can make a difference Make the world a better place Look around and love somebody We've been hateful all enough Let the good Lord reunite us Till this country that we love's undivided Make the world a better place Look around and love somebody We've been hateful all enough Let the good Lord reunite us Till this country that we love Undivided We didn't think like that Why's it gotta be all white or all black? 
Oh, right. Yes, sir. We just reacted to Home Free Undivided, requested by VJ. Thank you so much, VJ, for requesting this. And yes, you were correct. It is very, very uplifting. I love it. I love the message. I love the fact that they're giving God glory. I just love it. You know, I wanted to uh, uh, point on, uh, put a, a little point on something. They mentioned that either you go to church or you go to hell. Okay. Now I think he was referring to a lot of people, uh, that go out there, uh, you know, when they're preaching the gospel or whatever, most of the time they're trying to get you to come to their church, become a member. It's not about just becoming a Christian, but they just want to kind of make you just come to their church just to build their numbers. Right. Because a lot of the times these pastors tell people to just go out there and bring in more and more people to their church. Now, instead of just saying, preach the gospel, try to save people's lives, that should be the main focal point of the gospel. That's the whole point is to bring people to Christ, not people to your church and not to, you know, throw in their face. If you don't go to a church, you will go to hell. That is not accurate. It's all about Jesus, all about salvation. That's what it's about. That is what's going to get you in the door to heaven. Okay. So anybody tell you, if you don't attend a church, that, you know, you're going to go straight to hell. You know, a lot of people like to put out these unbiblical sayings and it, just don't believe it, right? If you really need to find out more and more information, just go to your, just buy a Bible and just read it, okay? And I like the message. They don't want all the divide between, I guess, believers and unbelievers, you know, to, you know, to put a stamp on it. We as believers are supposed to love each other. It's supposed to, not only that, we're supposed to love even our enemies. So God is so perfect. He wants us to even love our enemies. Is that a difficult thing to do? Is that hard? It's impossible when we try to do it with our own strength, but it's possible through Christ. So I think that's the point they're trying to make in this song. I think it's beautiful. And the fact that they're not afraid to talk about these subjects is amazing and testament to these guys. And very, it's, 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 I, I'm just saying that it's, these guys are a blessing right now in the music industry. I just want to put that out there. You know, they sing a lot of different songs, a lot of different genres, and they're very good at it. But the fact of the matter is not too many people is going to give God glory. Not too many people are going to talk about these particular subjects because a lot of the times you can get canceled. And, you know, as a, as a Christian or a believer, sometimes people kind of go against you. But with songs like this, it give people strength to go out there and, and, and speak their mind and doing it in love. And that's the point of this video. He said, look, if you're going to go out there and, and talk about God, you know, do it in love. Try to bring people to God without, you know, the threats and, 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 the, and the fear mongering. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. God do judge. You know, it, it's going to happen. And hell do exist. But I think it's the way people are trying to, trying to fear mongering people into believing in God when you can just, know that God loves you and he wants to save your life. And these are the things you should use to uh, bring people to Christ. And I like the, the message that they're, that they're putting out. Okay. All right. I normally would probably go into some article about them, but I'm still trying to save that a little bit. Cause I do want to know more about home free, but I'm saying that I just also want to say something at the end. You know, and I did wait until all the way to the end because a lot of you out there be saying, hey, they got sometimes that messages at the end. So this time they didn't have a message at the end, but I am playing the video all the way to the end just to catch that matches. OK. All right. I really, really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again. This is T and peace. Make a difference. Make the world a better place. Look around and love somebody.